sexually conceived. Well, if she is new Eve and she is nurturing Christ's life within us, then so that we may have a full life that's an everlasting life, she would be immaculately conceived because what's the point of creating a new covenant if you still have death within this new life that you're going to have? Right? So Mary is made immaculately conceived for our benefit so that the effects of original sin aren't transmitted down to us, just like Adam and Eve. So she is sinless. Yes, it's to her benefit, but it's also for our benefit, because if she's the new Eve and Jesus is the new Adam, then Mary being immaculately conceived and Jesus being perfect means that we don't have sin in this new life unless we accept it within our own lives. So the life we're being handed is pure life. So it's our benefit. So that would be